Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Richard here. It's um, Sunday the uh, 12th of September 2010 and uh, it's about 20 degrees today here in the United Kingdom uh, in, well, the southeast, uh, Kent, where I live. Um, yesterday, a um, little bit inclement the weather, but it bucked up and um, this morning it was cold to start, so those sort of autumn feeling, those fall feelings, as you would say in the United States, are starting to bite a bit. And but uh, once the sun came up, it was very nice today. Um, I wanted to chat to you about the Garrard SP25 Mark III because things have moved on a bit. Uh, but before I do that, I'm playing Ivan Novello, The Dancing Years, and I've had one of our uh, YouTube friends contact me direct via personal message the personal message service to say that he's looking for uh, a film ver a film of the uh, or the version of film of the um, dancing years he had a version but it, but it turned out to be that it was in German for some reason and he's been unable to um, uh, source another another film on DVD. I've done some checks on Amazon actually of one of the places that came up and they reference it but they don't actually have the actual film to for you to buy. Now I've looked at e on eBay as well last night and I've actually been back to him uh, and uh, said that I've been unable to find the DVD version but I'm sure there must be a version out there and if you if anyone knows uh, of that version uh, or a film that he can actually see on video, VHS maybe, if it's still around, then perhaps you could let me know. And what I'll do is I'll put his his uh, contact details uh, down there, as they say, all right, for you to uh, get in touch and at least let me know, because um, we can help each other in that way. Uh, just that so I'd mention one or two other things. Um, uh, here we go, some references here. Pi Studio Colour, Neil. Um, He's uh, recently been in touch regarding the Garrard. I'm just going to turn uh, my friend down a bit. That's better. Interrupt our conversation. To say that the, um, the, um, the ball race that was on the SP25 Mark III, the reason that Garrard had put a plastic insert as opposed to the metal one was to stop the rumble. And I thought that was a part I hadn't really thought about. I purely thought it was purely on cost uh, that the reasons why that we there was probably a uh, a change. Uh, but anyway, it works all right. I mean, so that's the main thing, isn't it? But thank you, Neil, so much. And I would advise anyone to have a look at his recent posting on a trip round London because I thought it was actually fantastic. I I, I mean, I, you know, I come from, I go to London for meetings quite regularly and enjoy the capital a lot for different things. But I was quite impressed actually and the music he chose was excellent. So Neil, I'm your friend for life mate when it comes to um, that particular bit of filming. That was really good. I enjoyed that. And you know, as a as a native myself, it was really good. Particularly the views around uh, the, um, the the gherkin as it was called, Ken, Ken Livingstone's third bollock. Yes, but don't say that too loudly. A couple of other uh, uh, channels I think you ought to be getting involved in if, you're, if you like swim music. Um, Leo Taurus, 1975, uh, Irwin his name is, does some smashing stuff on Swing from Berlin. Early 1930s up to the war years and perhaps beyond. And his videos that go along with that show some rare footage of Berlin um, just coming up to the Nazi regime and possibly after and also France during the occupation and some really good bits there I thoroughly enjoy listening to that and it's all in HD as well so if you push the HD button and then put it on full screen on your computer it's actually it's brilliant it's like sitting in the front of the cinema so I'm really impressed I've actually suggested that he might actually want to put some of his stuff onto a CD um, because it is you know it is so nice to listen to and uh, obviously uh, the Nazis actually banned swing music because it was American, but they got round this in several ways by, you know, by using different means, and it's a very clever uh, way. And uh, but the music itself is really good. The transfers from '78 are really smashing. There's another one also I've discovered in Germany. 
Deutschlander Lands Ender, there's another one, again, he's a great guy, uh, he hasn't got a name on his channel so I can't reference him in that way, but another one worth watching, so if you're interested in that, certainly somebody who's lived in Germany, I lived in Germany for my school years, my father was uh, serving out there uh, as part of British forces and uh, enjoyed every minute of the time out there in the country of beautiful country and also of course I have a Dr. Cassette Jonas comes from Germany very near Munster where I lived in Westphalia so there's a connection a bit of a connection for me for the, my formative years that's some time ago now uh, but anyway just thought I'd mention that I actually didn't take a reference on the time here so I'm hoping we're not going to run out of time in 15 minutes might have to make two parts of this but anyway um, did some record collecting um, yesterday in the local charity shop and came up with some good finds. The first one is Rigoletto. Now, the BBC uh, have recently run uh, over last weekend uh, a smashing Rigoletto, Verdi's Rigoletto, with Placio Domingo in the starring role as Le Rigoletto. And it was done from Mantra in Italy. And if you get a chance to watch it on the iPlayer, please do. It's absolutely first class. I watched um, Tosca. Italy a few years ago and I've got that on VHS and that is smashing and I don't didn't know the story of Rigoletto until I'd watched it on that particular program and I've learned quite a lot because it's not hard to follow but I managed to find on the uh, Decca label and it was all of one pound by the way this uh, very smashing uh, Rigoletto uh, with uh, Joan Sutherland actually in there uh, and um, so I'm looking forward to play. I haven't played that yet. One of my finds from from yesterday, only yesterday. So some small 45 finds. One of them I actually found on the Brightone label, and this is George Van Dusen. Now I've never heard of George Van Dusen, but um, I did some digging, and uh, because this is a transfer from '78 actually, and the record's called "It's Party Time Again," and it says on here the original mix. I'm sure in those days they didn't even know what the word mix when it came to recordings meant actually. There's a there's the new mix on the back, and the, but uh, it's quite a good little record this one, um, and. Um, Anyway, it turns out that It's Party Time Again by George Van Dusen was actually a Dutchman and he was famous for his yodeling and, it, and uh, it's little as known about him actually. But it's said here that they think he died in 1929, uh, which I thought was interesting, but the tracks come from 1937, so something doesn't add up here. But uh, it was, I thought I'd just look him up on the internet, but if you know anything about George Van Dusen, let me know. I haven't checked him out on eBay but he might have some other recordings there. Um, so, now the other ones I found were quite a good find. These, one of these is Gilbert O'Sullivan, not Gilbert and Sullivan, but Gilbert O'Sullivan. Now when I was 